It's like the instruction manual to the Green Lantern Corps, how the ring works, how the mind works. It's a training program to become fully fledged Green Lantern. Welcome to Ring Slinging 101, or as I like to call it, the worst day of your worthless life. The total visual effects number for the film was approximately 1,400 shots. Putting together the training platform is a daunting task. And we've been working on it from day one. It's just a huge model, a huge environment. It was probably one of the toughest sequences because of the evolution that we went through on that and the amount of business that's happening in there. These things you have to plan out very carefully. I'm here. When he raises the gun, I'm there, right? On your third burst, I'll be here and you lower the gun. You know, the training platforms is the area where we see the constructs used the most. The ring's limits are only what you can imagine. His moment with Tom Ray at the beginning, the construct that he creates, that little moment where they have where he starts to get the idea of what creating a construct is all about. Construct is basically the ring bearer's will and imagination manifested by the ring. So it's anything you can think of, and typically it's used by Green Lanterns and Bat. A lot of the constructs were scripted originally, and some we changed when we got into shooting itself. Then smack him. The constructs were originally conceived as flat 2D artwork by the uh, art department, then handed over to Sony, who then would build the 3D models. The effect of creating constructs and blasting requires about 10 or 15 different layers of effects. I fear nothing. Because of the nature of the constructs, their scale, their size, how they appeared, the brevity they appeared for, and how they disappeared, we had to make sure we allowed for the framing to obviously accommodate like a jet engine or a machine gun. So before shooting any scene, we had to nail down exactly what the construct was, the timing it would come on, you know, how big it was, and how it would interact with the characters. <laughs> A lot of this was realized in storyboards as well. Some of these moments where Hal gets his feet clamped down in the boots and constructing the table. Let's see what you got. Kilowog puts Hal through the physical contortions of training. Yeah, let me help you. Finishing that off, we finish with him and Sinestro together. This is the human. He tests him in a traditional fight, but using constructs created by their rings. A sword. Oh, human. It gives Hal a horse whipping. I do believe I smell fear. We had to go into each shot knowing what the construct was going to be. Ryan Reynolds had to know what the construct was so he could react suitably. And Mark Strong had to know what the construct so he could react suitably as well. It's hand-to-hand -hand combat. They're creating one construct, that one gets knocked over, the other one gets created. That was orchestrated over many, many weeks before we actually shot that. Then let's do it. And that was choreographed with our stunt coordinator, Gary, and with uh, Grant Major Production Design to make sure we came up with a really cool set of tools they could use during that fight. Will is what makes you take action. <laughs> Fear is what stops you. Then once you shoot it, you know, you come back and you, you edit it all together. And then even from then, the work just started. And started basically re pre the entire sequence. And then deciding where in this environment they were going to be from shot to shot. At one point, there was two levels to the platform. They began on the top platform. He got hammered through and got bounced down to the bottom platform. And all these details were being worked out, constantly going back into the edit process and, and refining and, and tightening it up. All the while, the environment guys were in there building the Owen environment. So then, now you could tie your characters into that with both lighting and effects. And of course, you have all your timings of you know, when they create their constructs, and so you start putting together all the effects for the constructs, and you start layering it together. <laughs> Many artists were involved with every shot, from layout, match moving, getting the suit tracking. If one thing didn't work in that puzzle, you'd lose your audience from the beginning. Your constructs are only going to be as strong as your will, and your will is pathetic. As the actor, you really have to put your faith in the hardworking artists behind the scenes to make this thing really pop off the screen in a unique and incredible way. It's bizarre, but the more difficult something is, the bigger the mountain you have to climb, the more effort you have to put in. When you sit there and you see it on the big screen, it's, it's worth it.